What's up, everybody? Sorry about my silence. I've been in a coma for about a week. I had a real bad flu. I had, they thought it was Corona. Oh, God, it's not that. Wait. It's turned on to pneumonia. So, I'm trying to get better. Just want y'all to know that I'm fighting my ass off so loud. So, don't tell me to get rest. I'll keep this short and sweet. I know there's some people. I spoke to the doctor again. Said, Send over your files in the morning. That would just be nosy. Yes, that's everything. Yeah. And I know there's some. Uh, Any questions? Same thing. Same answer there. You know, I was thinking last night, probably we were 14 and we made our own. I'm saying, I hate it. Each and every one of y'all. We agreed that we would never. Never date each other's girls. And I remembered that that night you told me how much you liked Stacy Miller and that you were gonna ask her out. And I said, Well, hey man, you can. I'm trying to be very bad. I wanted to, she liked you way more than she liked me. And so I lied to you because I was so jealous. And I realized that I've been carrying around this. God bless all the money. In my heart, yeah. put up prayers for me. Stop. Like I said, stay focused. I'm in. Do what you promised me. Going.
Another sad day in the comedy industry of the United States of America. The popular American best-selling author, comedian, a man who was so hilarious, Cotton G, has died. A man who was in his early 40s actually passed away as a result of a long-term health-related issue that actually even took him in hospital back in 2020, like you've seen in that video I've given you. Courtney was a professional startup comedian, a very, very hilarious man, and he had given all his life to the comedy industry. And by the time he died, actually, he had even tried to get into acting and also a bit of some production. So um, the family came out via their official Instagram to release a very heartbreaking statement that read that, Hey everyone, this message comes to you from Courtney Sands. Unfortunately, he passed away this evening in a hospital in Atlanta. He was surrounded by his three sons like I've given them to you on the screen. So by the time he passed away, like, you've seen, like you can see on the screen, his sons had surrounded him and his sister the brother-in-law and Kim actually one of the other family members the statement further continued thanks for the love prayers for his sons and family in this very devastating time they are really hurting and going through a very tough time so that's what that's what the statement read that was actually released via the official instagram page of cotton g the very hilarious comedian so uh, neither the family <clears throat> nor Courtney G's spokesperson has come out to reveal the real cause of death. But of course, according to what, <clears throat> excuse me, according to what we we've been seeing, Courtney had long-standing health-related issues. A few months ago, early on in this year, he actually lost the wife as a result of mysterious circumstances or health related issues and it didn't take long also to start suffering and he was even hospitalized just a few months ago he was in the hospital in the intensive care unit like you can see on the screen so according to the so many sources that are coming out it has not been revealed the real cause of death but we know that he had been going through some long-standing health related issues so in this exact moment in time all we are doing is to pray for the family pray for the friends the fans of Courtney because he was literally such a legendary and top class comedian a one sherry claire actually came out on instagram and paid tributes to the legend and said omg he's with chalene forever chalene is by the way the wife prayers up to you and your family in jesus's name amen a one petty petty hell came out and said rest in heaven big homie you will be missed dearly all we can say is rest in power the king, Cotton G.